is step one of modeling a wall clock with 3D Studio Max. The first step is going to be modeling the base of the clock. I've started out in the perspective viewport. This is a little tutorial on the interface. I'm going to hit, hold down Alt in the middle mouse wheel to spin around in this viewport. And I'm going to go back up to the 3D cube and hit home to go back home. I'm then going to hit Alt W to maximize into the quad view. And that where my mouse is at now is the left viewport. Now it's in the top viewport and now it's in the front viewport. I'm going to select the front viewport, hit Alt W and maximize the front viewport. Holding, clicking with S on the keyboard, I'm going to turn on the 3D snap. Select a cylinder object from the create panel and drag from the center of the front viewport out and then right click to create a cylinder. Next I'm going to go into the modify panel, make sure my radius is set to 100, my height is set to 20, my height segments is set to 1. Now I'm going to hit Alt W, go into the, click into the perspective viewport, and hit Alt W again to maximize the perspective viewport. Now I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard to show the shaded and edge faces. I'm going to right click my object, go to convert to editable poly. Now I'm going to go into polygon sub object mode, I'm going to select the front face. going to select the setting it's for insert and it'll come bring up a panel on how much I want to insert this face I'm gonna do it probably about two and a half oh, let's go go to five then I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna do this again I'm gonna select the insert for this face, this is so that I can create a bolt. Actually, no, I'm not going to insert yet. I'm going to then go into the left viewport, but I'm going to hit L on the keyboard and it'll take me to the left viewport. I'm going to hit F3 to go in the wire wireframe mode. I'm going to hit the extrude settings and I'm going to extrude this back negative 10. Now I'm going to go and hit F3 again to pull pull back up sh shaded and edge faces mode. Go back into my front viewport by hitting F. I'm going to insert this again to a value that's relatively about the size that I want it for when I put the bolt in for the clock. Let's say about... 80. Yeah, we'll go to 95. That's way too small. Go to 90. Next, I'm going to go back into the left viewport. I'm going to hit F3 to show wireframe, and I'm going to extrude that in another negative 10. And then hit F Fn F3 to. I'm gonna hit F3 to go back into the shaded edge faces. I'm gonna hit P to go into perspective, and this is we're gonna be done with step one of this tutorial.